Howdy my noble friends Zara Kaka Babu is back with World of Tanks and this time we've got the pleasure of watching up to no good a driving his Swedish premium medium tank tier 8 the Lansen C he is going to show us how a good knowledge of uh, the game mechanics and skill can make up for uh, the bad team and bad situation one finds himself in now i am in a platoon with up to no good in the panzer 58 modes and one of these days i might even share a video about it and uh, i'm just waiting for a killer game in it all the ones i've had over the years uh, well those replay files uh, are old and have been misplaced uh, perhaps anyways enough about me this game is not about me it is about up to no good and his awesomeness which he's going to showcase in this battle the map is ghost town and we find ourselves uh, as a top tier and uh, together uh, we both decided to move on to this one two line so that uh, we can uh, take the fight to the enemy team no good over here is trying to perhaps fire at people uh, crossing that area and the cheeky Swedish tech tree medium vehicle 14.5 Judas 14.5 puts around into uh, no good basically Lansen C is the premium version just like the 14.5 is uh, the tech tree version right and uh, it's kind of uh, a similar vehicle with similar alpha and gun characteristics uh, it's a really good vehicle I must say anyways I am trying to duke it out with uh, UDES 14.5 and also uh, trying to blind fire and snuff out any tank destroyer which are hanging back and uh, I actually was fearful that they if I go around and fight it out with UDES then uh, I would really get hammered. EBR Hotchkiss came with me and uh, these light tank wheeled vehicle drivers are uh, by design not very patient because they are driving fast vehicles and they don't really have patience that much so let's see if uh, our Hotchkiss dis decides to be patient or not and there we saw he is moving up already Judith puts a big round into him EBR isn't really feeling so sure about himself or his life choices but still he is moving up and he is trying to evade that enemy line of fire but he then st stopped in the middle seriously meanwhile no nope to no good is uh, playing like the true teammate he is and uh, running back by abandoning me over there seeing this i actually uh, you know we both communicated to each other that it is uh, going to be wise if we moved into the city and lent a helping hand to our heavies which seem to be struggling in the city enemies are uh, hammering our guys in the city and we are look at the hp difference minus 3600 already i have uh, already come over here as well you uh, no good puts a good round into the kv2 sets him on fire i had similar intentions but uh, look at me trying to get a shot into him but i and no good are getting hit at the from the back by these achilles udes 14.5 and I am totally getting focused so I was like okay enough of this I am uh, getting the hell out of dodge Judas goes down by up to no good's hand and there is one tier 8 vehicle out of this game uh, no good is on almost 1200 damage and I communicate to him that it would be wise if he moved over there uh, so that I spot the vehicles which are going to come out 
and uh, he covers me from over there and uh, obviously let's just say that is opportunity to shoot at targets which are coming out of the city would appear soon enough the kill count difference is oh let's uh, aim 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 on the kv2 i put around into him and no good finishes of the kv2 that tier 6 behemoth of a soviet heavy tank goes down it is the smv 67 which has um, really ruined uh, our guys in the city he went by hull down and uh, our heavies had no answer against him now the m4a1 fl 10 3 is coming from over there and uh, meanwhile oni appears full health oni i might add no good switch to gold rounds fired and 288 damage into him no knee it is a dumb vehicle which has no view range to speak of like all heavies heavies have better and uh, there was a misplay by no good he should have fired at the kv3 but the smv was the most valuable target so perhaps he was trying to uh, get rid of him as quickly as possible no good lines a shot on the kv3 but smv was in front of the kv3 and he got saved uh, meanwhile the 60 smv 61 put around into no good oh. wisely he tracked the vk uh, because so that uh, he cannot flank uh, vk was trying to evade and he evade no good so well that he basically crashed towards his death what a great play by the VK. Uh, we really needed that respite. Puts around into the M4A1. Was uh, inten intending to track him. No, uh, uh, SU-152 comes. He was intending to track him. But also he managed to kill him. M4A1A1. Uh, this vehicle. Um, whatever this is. Uh, has put two rounds. And now is on a reload. Meanwhile. AMX and ARL were providing supporting fire to the no good as well and which really uh, came fantastic. SMV uh, had a misplay although in his mind it wasn't a misplay. He managed to finish finish off our ARL 44. Our hero no good puts around into the SMV. Now he's on low hit points. He, uh, Indian Panzer realizes that he is in the open and he wasn't sure of his life choices but no good didn't give him a chance to think much so he put in a round and killed the S, uh, Indian Panzer. Indian Panzer is go gone now the KV-3 has decided to move up against our hero and SMV is still showing his side aim 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 it's a game winning shot that is even though we haven't won yet SMV 67 the most dangerous vehicle in the enemy team has been killed now only the two heavy soviet ones the kv3 the tier 7 and the kv2 remain uh, amx 1357 is on the one two line providing vision to no good and no good rightly so decided to retreat from this area keep the kv3 at a distance and if you guys can look at the mini map uh, the uh, plan was to keep the kv3 at the edge of spotting range so that no good can continuously put round after round without getting spotted into uh, the kv3 because as we uh, know that heavy tanks don't really have maximum view range especially in these low tiers uh, they've got more uh, important things to take care of like vents uh, rammer and uh, gun handling sucks on the soviet vehicles as well so that has to be boosted so no good is going to spot the heavy the heavy has moved into the cap getting behind bushes because no good is a fan of the bushwork and he is making great use of those bushes firing at the kv3 whittling him down shot after shot and uh, thankfully this lansan c has a good amount of alpha damage and I am also glad that Nogut was carrying a couple of 
uh, gold rounds in his pocket which most definitely came in handy now again the uh, modus operandi is the same move forward spot the enemy heavy then get back a bit uh, in a safe distance and then stop fire and uh, rinse and repeat my friends fantastic work by no good really i mean it is just if you have uh, uh, a great knowledge or even a decent knowledge of how the game mechanics work and are cool headed enough to make the right plays at the right time then victory is uh, yours really carrying it hard uh, we know what already has secured six kills at the moment i might add but he is so full of integrity which would get evident later on in a bit so just keep a eye out on the kill count he is on six kills kv3 gets spotted no good moves back m m m four and there goes down the last gold round of mr hero no good now kv3 is not sure of himself and the tier 7 soviet heavy tank has been killed kv2 is in a crossfire from there amx 1357 was hitting and no good not caring for the fact that he was on seven kills he didn't hold back his round and uh, didn't wait for the amx 1357 to uh, stop firing so that no good could secure the kill and eight kills and a very important medal redley walters medal he showed that he had integrity and he was thinking about a one thing and that was securing victory for the home team and that he most certainly did my friends let's check out the post game stats and see what carnage we have created into the enemy ranks and how hard uh, no good has carried so on to the post game stats all right my noble friends here we are no good secured mastery badge first class for his for his fantastic performance in that game and i would have uh, expected a mastery badge a stanker but somewhere someone has performed even better and had a mammoth game raising the bar of the ace tanker so in this game only first class badge for our hero 206,000 credits were secured and that is fantastic mm, a lot of gold rounds were fired as well so the let's see how much profit he secured with 2622 experience and top gun high caliber and uh, the defender medal for uh, whittling down the enemy kv3 while he was in our camp uh, he, sadly the redley walters medal uh, wasn't secured but in my book i declare that he most definitely deserved to get the redley walter medal and i am declaring that he got it that's it even though it doesn't show it on the post game stats anyways Look at the carnage he created, partners! Uh, fantastic tracking shot on the VK. Then Achilles M4A1, that uh, mutant vehicle KV2, the other KV2. Oh, look at all the carnage! And especially this MVP was the SMV CC67, uh, killing whom was really important. And I think SMV was the reason our team was in this state and look at that 5104 damage with 1398 base experience and even more awesome was the patawa shri uh, the amx 1357 driver who played a pivotal role by providing much needed vision and also for his 2371 damage with two kills uh, and it was like a good light tank drivers who know uh, when to be at a distance and uh, give it to the enemy team 
uh, are really a godsend it's especially in the uh, ghost town map where vision is really important uh, due to the fact that that it is an open map uh, down over here with me uh, well 1001 damage for poor old sir kakababu and it isn't saying much look at all the other dudes churchill 737 prototype how can a dude in a t28 prototype suck so hard well uh, other teams including myself other teammates didn't really do much and sure enough 3004 damage for the smv 67 with his five kills he was the mvp as i've told you already judas 14 5 wasn't behind vipera i mean if you put is look at those dirty killer platoon smv and vipera in the platoons and a top tier matchup so it was just all the stars had aligned and only thing staying standing in their way was our mega lonson c and amx 13 57 with 27 rounds fired and firing those 27 rounds with uh, such a long reload almost 10 seconds is an achievement in itself 25 hits so marksman ship was on point with 18 penetrations because of the long range shots and heavily armored vehicles being shot at 5104 damage 3860 from more than 300 meters so 125,000 uh, credits made and a good amount of um, experience as well so there you have it partners i hope you enjoyed today's game in the swedish premium tier 8 medium tank the lansen c and this game really was a uh, heart pumping game because no good uh, after this i remember he just sat in the corner in a bush in a tank destroyer and he was like oh uh, let's take it slow because his heart rate needed time to recover from all this adrenaline pumping game he had anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's game and i hope to see you guys in the next video so until next time, goodbye my noble friends.